Hey what's up guys then my for simple snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on quantitative aptitude so in this video tutorial I'll teach you a fast multiplication trick which will give you answers in seconds so let's go to the trick right away okay so as you can see on the screen we are going to be solving five different problems the first three problems are two digit numbers the fourth one is a three digit and fifth one is a four digit multiplication number so let's start with the first question now this trick is applicable to only certain numbers and by certain numbers i mean there is a condition and that condition is for two digit numbers the units place has to have a total of 10 so in question 1 you can see the first number is 25 and the second number is 25 so at units place we have 5 and 5 so if we take the addition between 5 and 5 we will get 10 so this is the first condition and the second condition is after the units place at the tens place the numbers should be equal so as you can see we have 2 and 2 so both the conditions are satisfied so now this trick can be ap applied to this problem and the trick is as follows we have to multiply the units place so we have to multiply 5 into 5 and write the answer that is 25 and for the tens place we have to add 1 to the tens unit and multiply it with the previous number so 2 into we have to add 1 2 plus 1 that is 3 and the answer would be 6 so this is our final answer so it will give you an answer in seconds if you actually find or get the question right and understand the type of question so let's again try it for question number 2 now in this case again we have 5 and 5 in the units place so if you add 5 plus 5 we have 10 so the first condition is satisfied for the second condition we again have the tens place common that is we have 7 and 7 which is equal so both the conditions are satisfied so we can apply this multiplication trick and the trick is as follows we have to just take multiplication of the units place that is 25 and write it as, as it is and for the units place we have to add 1 to the number and multiply it with the previous number so 7 into 8 that would give us 56 so this is our final answer so this is how within seconds you can get your final answers for certain types of multiplications let's see the third question now here the units place is not equal but if we take the total of 7 plus 3 we again get 10 so first condition is satisfied for the units place we have both the numbers equal so the second condition is also satisfied so we can apply this trick again so 7 3s are 21 and 2 into 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 2s are 6 and the answer is 621 okay so this was pretty simple when it was a two digit number so let's see how we apply this trick to a three digit number so in question number four what we have to do is we have to take the unit and tens place combined of the both the numbers and take a total of it and it has to be a multiple of 10 so in first cases or in the case where we had two digits it was a multiple of, multiple of 10 that was 10 raised to 1 and if we take a total here we get 100 which is 10 square so this is the first condition and the second condition is same that is the 100th position has to be equal so we have 4 and 4 so both the conditions are satisfied and now what we have to do is we have to take multiplication of this entire part that is 97 into 3 which is equal to 291 and for the 100th part we have to do 4 into 4 plus 1 that is 5 which is 20 now observe that there are 4 numbers in this block but the output or multiplication gave rise to only 3 digit number so we just have to add one more zero in between to complete the four digit sequence and you have to keep this in mind because you might miss out the zero and you will get a wrong answer so you just have to make a string or make a four digits in order to match these four digits so just that is the reason why you need to add one more zero and this is our final answer okay so let's see how this technique works in a four digit problem so again you can see that we have 99 and 01 and if you take a sum of these two digits or these two individual numbers will get a total of 100 which is again equal to 10 raised to 2 so it is a multiple of 10 so the first condition is satisfied and for the second condition we have both these numbers equal so again this condition is satisfied so now for the first part we have to take multiplication of these two values that is 99 into 1 which would give us 99 and for the second part we have to do 10 into 10 plus 1 that is 11 which is equal to 110 so now if you observe for this block we have four digits that is four total individual digits but the output was of two digits so we have to fill up two more digit values so we just have to add two more zeros and this is our final answer so that's it for this trick i hope you understood the trick and go ahead and try out certain problems so that you get a good hang of it if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you have any queries you can always put them in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace